In April 1986, a routine safety test was scheduled at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, and control was handed over to shift supervisor Anatoly Dietlov and the operators. None of them fully understood how dangerous the RBMK reactor type was, extremely unstable at low power levels. During the test, the reactor's power dropped unexpectedly. Instead of aborting the test, the crew tried to raise the power, disabling key safety systems in the process. As the situation became critical, they pressed the AZ-5 emergency shutdown button to stop the reactor, but due to a design flaw, inserting the control rods caused a sudden surge in power, and disaster struck. At 1.23 a.m., Reactor 4 exploded. A 2,000-ton concrete lid was blown into the air. Radiation, a thousand times stronger than the Hiroshima bomb, immediately flooded the area. Firefighters who arrived without protection suffered fatal doses of radiation. They thought they were putting out a regular fire. The leadership initially denied the true extent of the disaster. In Pripyat, people were still walking outside the next day, unaware, under falling radioactive dust. Evacuation only began 36 hours after the explosion. 49,000 residents were forced to leave their homes. Removing radioactive debris was extremely dangerous. Hundreds of thousands of people, often with minimal protection, and many of them later died from radiation exposure. A massive steel sarcophagus covers the destroyed Reactor 4 to prevent further radiation leaks. Pripyat stands as a ghost town. Follow for more.